Hello, my name is Daniel Thao. I am also known as Paradigm. I just recently put out the very first release of my Linux distribution, Bedrock Linux. Since doing so, I received numerous requests for visuals, you know, screenshots or video showing off what I've made. So I, I figured I'd sit down and, and oblige. The key thing that makes my Linux distribution different from others is that you can install any arbitrary package from any arbitrary Linux distribution. So for example, here I have uh, Z, uh, ZSH installed from four different Linux distributions. So as you can see from Etsy issue, each of these shells think they are where they need to be. They all see the package that they need to. However, for other things, such as the home directory, you can see uh, previous tries of videos I've made, it's shared. Uh, so, let's say why. Why would you want to install multiple packages from different distros at the same time, or just any package from any distribution? I've, I've come up with a few different reasons. The most obvious one is if you want a package that is uh, in limited availability. For example, the Sage Mathematics package, uh, so I have a few aliases set up, so alias ks will show me, uh, we'll search the backers. Sage Mathematics. So Sage has it in its community, or Arch Linux has it in their community branch. But Debian, Ubuntu, and Fedora all are lacking the package. So if I want Sage Mathematics, the only place I have to go is Arch Linux. If you're using any of those other distros, you'd have, and you want to get it from your repository, you really don't have any option. So let's go ahead and install it. If I can get my password correct. It's like I can't. There we go. As you can see, this is a really large package, so it's going to take a bit. I'm going to leave that running in the background and I'll show off some other things. Uh, let's say another version you'd want to do this is if you're looking for a very specific version of a package. So for example, if I want if you bootstrap, Debian Squeeze has version 2. Uh, apparently it's not available in Ubuntu at all. That's unusual, I thought they had it. Um, Fedora has version 3. Now the thing is, version 2 and 3 are completely different. Version 3 is not just an updated version, it's, it's an entirely different program. I explicitly want version 2. If I was on Fedora, I would have to go and find an RPM for it, or go compile it from source. Or an Ubuntu, uh, Arch also does not have version 2. Debian Squeeze is the only distribution I can think of off the top of my head. The only release of the only distribution um, currently active that has it. Uh, I don't know, maybe one of the Red Hat Enterprise Linux clones also have it. So if you're not in one of those distros, you have to do a bunch of work to go install it. But here, I can just uh, go ahead and install it, because I want this version. Um, it's good. It's taking a little bit because this is right now killing my uh, my disk. So once that finishes, this will work. Uh, let's say another example. If let's say VLC, VLC is available almost everywhere. So if I want VLC, however, hypothetically, it's not broken at the moment. What if it breaks in Arch? It's a cutting edge English distribution. They do have issues. So let's say I can run it. It, it opens up, but I can't open a video for some obscure reason. I can go ahead and install it in, I don't know, Fedora. I guess I can't. Maybe I don't have to repost it up. Alright, so let's get it from, uh, I don't know, Debian. So, come on, Debian. You can do it. And the neat thing is, so I have them both installed at the same time. However, Debian's, uh, or they're completely different versions. Debian has version 1.1.3, or as uh, R20 says, 2.0.3. So let's say 2.0.3 horribly breaks for some reason in every single one distribution. I don't have to do any work to fall back. I just go ahead and grab it from a different one. Now, everything I've shown you can in theory be done with virtual machines. I could be running four different virtual machines and just be SSH in all of them. What you cannot do with virtual machines, what makes Bedrock Linux so unique is what I'm about to show you here. Say this is uh, this is Ubuntu. I do not have VLC installed. I do not have Sage installed. I do not have if you if you bootstrap installed. However, I can run this command Bedrock Path. What this will do is this will go ahead and find all the installed packages and every other Linux distribution I have on disk 
that are not available in this distribution and then make them available. So now I can go ahead and run VLC. Uh, it defaults to Ubuntu or to Debian's version because I just the order I have it. You can have it default to Arches if you have multiple installed. Um, moreover, I have Sage Mathematics installed. So I can just, whatever, that works fine. Bootstrap. That's installed there too. So it, I don't have to worry about where things are installed. I don't have to worry. It, it just all feels like a single cohesive Linux distribution. I just pick a shell, just run around in it, do whatever I would like, like normal. Um, that you cannot do with the virtual machines. You, you with the SSH, they they don't all work together. Um, just as a reminder, my home directory is shared between these. It's it's, it's really nice and transparent. I just pick a shell, whatever, pick some program, just keep running like usual, everything is available. I uh, think that's everything I want to demonstrate. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, there should be a box uh, underneath this video with more information. Thank you for watching.